tiger? Oh, yeah, isn't it? Yeah, right? Yeah. yeah. And he had a lion and all that other stuff. Amazing. Oh, yeah. I don't know. Absolutely, yeah. absolutely amazing. Oh, let's see here. Wait, we got some other. Dr. Vibe is, well, we got a, okay. And Matt Marino. Okay, we got a few more. Dr. Vibe is in the building. How are you, doctor? This is my personal physician in Canada. <laughs> yeah. Greetings, everybody. How we doing? Whenever I get sick, he makes me drink maple syrup and play hockey. <laughs> how how you been, my doctor? Tell us. Uh, put your link in there and everything, and tell us. Tell everybody who you are if they don't know. Okay, my name is Doctor Vibe. I host Epic Conversations. I'm the home of Epic Conversations. I've hosted over two thousand online conversations over the last eleven years. 2018 award winner uh, for innovation handed out by the Canadian Ethnic Media Association because I'm based in Toronto. And as of last week, I am hosting weekly, well, monthly father chats sponsored by Dove Men Care. All right. And so how do we find you? If uh, anybody wants to find you right now, how do we find you? I'm putting that in right now. All right. Great. Great. And who do you, are you on tonight? You look like you're ready to broadcast. No, tonight, take a night off, but I have conversations. I got, I did three in three days and edited them and put them out, but I'm taking a little bit of a break, but I will be back on, yeah, tomorrow afternoon I'll be doing a podcast. I, now, just, I'll let your other guests just speak in a moment. A podcast, people, is all audio. What we're doing right now is not a podcast, technically. So I'm doing an audio podcast tomorrow with a weekly conversation I have with two ladies from your country talking about all the social political stuff that's going on. So you use uh, another application for your live streaming, though. What is that again? Well, it's it's actually interesting, Claude. You're mentioning this. I am looking at starting a new series of conversations on this platform. Ooh. So yes, I'm looking to go to competition. I like it. Yeah, so I and it's funny because I just got off the phone with a client and they said they're they're having a terrible experience with Zoom. Is there another platform that we could use? And I said, Well, I'm testing out StreamYard and I also can use Get Vocal. So there's a number of different platforms that I use, and it's interesting because I've had a number of people who I never thought would come to me asking me to help them with online video conversations. They're all coming now. So it's been a very positive, productive last few weeks for me. Isn't this, what do you, uh, before I let you go, what's going on in Canada? I mean, in terms of this virus and adaptation and things, how yeah. are people, how are people dealing with it? People are dealing with it. Like, interesting enough, we have Home Depot here. All the Home Depots are closed. You have Home Depot next, you're going to get in and out burger or something, right? <laughs> yeah. Last week they closed all the Home Depots. So if you want to, which is interesting and why? Um, the, the couple was mentioning it a few, a few moments ago. It's going to be very interesting to see how retailers are going to change their business models after this because they're going to realize now, hey, we may not need that many employees anymore. We can do all this stuff online and still make money. So this is where someone like a Claude Diamond can come in and give you some thought process on how you can position yourself after this time ends because – there are people who are watching this. I know there'll be at least one person that will. Well, if you have a job, there'll be at least one person that will not be going back to a job. Mm, interesting. So the, so you're thinking this will actually give corporate America an excuse to lower their overhead and be and, and use this technology that we have. We were talking a few minutes ago about all the churches were all online for Easter Sunday and stuff. Yeah. Oh, yeah. This is. This is a game changer. This was going to happen eventually, but this just accelerated what was inevitably going to happen. And the sad thing is there are going to be businesses out there and maybe some entrepreneurs that haven't gone online that are going to be left behind. Chantel was talking, the, the, the cute couple above you there in Phoenix, um, they were talking about what's going to happen to brick and mortar places now. Yeah. Well, they were already phasing out. Now it's like, like in, in Toronto where I'm based, there are malls that are closed. Really? Malls that are closed. And um, I live in Ontario, which is a province, is co which is comparable to states in the United States. They just announced that they're going to extend this lockdown for another 28 days. Wow. For another month. So the, the soonest that Toronto is going to be back and changing around will be at least the middle of May. At least the middle of May. Last question. What's your prognostication? 
what what do you where do you see us what you, you see us coming out of this in the in the summer next year 18 months from now like the mayor of chicago said 18 more months of this i don't think how can we in north america how can the economy survive being locked up for 18 months it's impossible well i i think that i see we'll see some semblance of turnaround i think by by the latest mid to late next month but this this is a generational event Ooh. in my opinion i don't think it's just a, a year thing this is a generational event because this is inf- impacting older younger in between this is a generational event this is not just like a few years this is a generational event. So I think, um, yes, things may change, but they've changed forever. Like the whole term new normal, the new normal is already hit. And then it's the next normal that's going to hit. What's it What's it going to be like for the kids? No proms, no graduation. Uh, colleges are closed right now. No social interaction. Can you imagine you're 17, 18, 19 years old and you can't go to your girlfriend's house or whatever, you know? Well, As the couple said a few moments ago, I think we're going to see an increase in mental health challenges big time. I think we're going to see that. But this is also time for us to be really human beings. This This will be a test for every individual in the world to say, how can I be a real human and can I consistently be a real human during this and after this? I think changes are coming that we haven't even foreseen yet. Oh, I haven't even seen them yet. Haven't even seen them yet. Dr. Uh, Vibe, so good, so glad you could join us live. What a pleasure. The pleasure is mine. And as always, you bring fantastic people to your platform, but that's a testimony to you and Claudia. Uh, thank you. Thank you. Behind every successful man is usually a smarter, more exhausted woman, right, Chantel? <laughs> hey, Claude. <laughs> Claude, <laughs> hey, Claude, 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 you married up, my friend. You married up. Oh, yeah. I'd be cleaning a slurping machine right now if it wasn't for Claude. <laughs> <laughs> I'd, have, I'd, have a I'd have a 7-Eleven face mask. Or Do you think the whole handshake culture is going to change? Ooh. Oh, well, well, here, well, okay. Well, well, a very, very interesting story. I was in a lineup today to get into a grocery store. And, you know, I like to have conversation. There was a gentleman in front of me who is from Tehran, Iran. And he, his family is back there. And he was supposed to leave on an airplane on March 23rd. Why is he still here? Because they canceled the flight on March 23rd. Oh, wow. He cannot be near his family. But I said to him, what do you think airline travel is going to be after this? Do you think they're going to let people sit beside each other? Do you think everyone's going to have to be on an airplane with a mask? Are they still going to bring their dogs on board? See, that's what I mean by generational change. Like the only thing comparable that we've seen to this to some sort of extent in North America was 9-11. But this is going to go, this is going to have a wider effect than a 9-11. This is is a generational thing. This is a generational change. And uh, we just hope that everyone can get through, really. And we just got to stay in touch with other, uh, each other and accept people where they are. Amazing. Thank you so much. Oh, look who's here. Uh, did I just uh, hear uh, uh, the star of the show. Did I hear Dr. Vibe? Do I hear Mrs. C? <laughs> hey, you. Hi, how you doing? I'm good. How are you? Hey, hey, I just got a checkup from him. He made me turn my head and cough. He did not. Yeah. Oh, I got to take this call. <laughs> I'll let yeah, you go. I, so do I. Nah, thank you for joining. <laughs> thank you for joining us. And I've been, re- and I'll talk to you later. Thank you, Doctor Vibe, and his, and he's going to put in his link in there if it's not in already. And here is a friend from a long time, Matt Marino. I know that name. I know that name. How you doing, Matt? I'm doing fine, Claude. Thanks for asking. Yeah, yeah. You are. Are you in Phoenix? Uh, I'm, actually, I'm in the. Um, I'm in, uh, I'm in Mesa Chandler right now. Okay. Do you know Sha- Ani and Chantel? They're not far. Uh, I'm going to introduce myself to them when I see them a little later. Yeah. Yeah. They're, they're, really, they're very nice. Really Thank nice. You. We're in Central. Oh, but, oh, there they are. There they are. Look. Oh, thank God I said something good. Woo. <laughs> <laughs> of course I did. Hi, you guys. Hi. Good to see you. So, so, Claude, how was that beer that you were tasting? 
It, you know what? I he loves that stuff. I, I, I'm a connoisseur of beers, and this is my friends make fun of me. Yeah. But you know, when you're drinking during the week, you don't want to drink a lot of heavy beers. And Bud Light Lime is it's very tasty. It's very fill. Uh, it's not filling. It's it's a very good. I give it four stars. It's a good drinkable beer. It's beer. <laughs> the, the, you know, it's a good beer. But I do have a backup here from Ballast Point in case you finish this one.